was in a relationship, but it's like it was domestic. But I, I was a witness and I was a victim to I was a witness and a victim to domestic. So your dad was doing that to your mom? Yes, and then it started from when I was a child. It started from when I was a very, very small child. I witnessed it. All I kept doing is crying to this day. I just grew up just without, just, just without. I'm out here without, with nowhere to go, no nothing. I'm just here with nowhere to go, with no help. So let me ask, I mean, growing up, was your dad, was he active in your life? <coughs> no. Like he didn't like come around. He didn't like, like he didn't never did nothing for me. He was never there for me. And to this day I got a child that I'm trying to provide for. And it's hard when I'm trying to help get somewhere to stay, trying to take care of my baby, trying to do it all. I'm trying. Lord knows I'm trying. I don't have no help. I'm trying. I don't have no help. And it's like I'm out here just floating around. Okay. What's up, YouTube? Become a member of the channel. Click the join button. You're going to get access to exclusive content, more updates, post interview reactions, and the lost tapes that never made it to YouTube. Click the join button. Become part of the family. Now back to the content. What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews out here with another one. Um, so we got a young lady with us today. How you doing today, miss? I'm doing okay. How about you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. It's a beautiful day out here. Um, so are you homeless? Yes, I am. Okay. Um, how old are you? I'm 22. 22. And so how long have you been homeless? I've been homeless for over a year now, staying on the street with just my baby. And I'm trying to get help as much as I can. With no, I don't have no help. It's just my, I just got two kids. That's it. And I'm out on the street with no help. You say you got two kids? Yes, sir. And so how old is the baby that's right here? Um, She's five months years so. old. Five months? And so how old is your other child? I'm pregnant with one right now, and I'm a single mom on the street by myself with no help. Okay. Okay. Um, And so so you're with child, and you have this baby that's right here? Yes. Okay. Those are the two that you're talking about? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, Have you ever been married? No, never. Uh, okay. All right, um, so what was it that happened a year ago that caused you to become homeless? Uh, what happened a year ago, I was in a trauma situation going through domestic violence, and that would cause me to um, get homeless to where I don't have no support, I don't have no family, and that's what caused me to just get into that situation, going through a trauma domestic violence type of thing. And that would cause me to just be out on the street with no, with no help. Is that the father of both the kids or just one of them? It was the father of both the kids and it's through family through family and father. You say it's the family and father? Yes, family and father, yes. Then um, I was going through domestic violence with. So the family was also uh, Yes, the family was the also the cause of the reason why I was I'm on the street today. With his nowhere family. to go. That's yeah, my family. About? Your family. Yes. Okay, okay. So I mean so was it that you ran away from the situation a year ago? Um, it wasn't that. It's just that my mom, like, I can never, I can never get along with my dad. And why, by me not getting along with my dad, he just turned me to like, just turn me away. Is that say, your biological dad? Yes, it is. Why can't you get along with him? The reason why I can't get along with him because he have a sense to where he just he have hatred in his heart about me. He don't like me. He just say that say things that that I don't like and he just say hurtful things to me knowing that I already go through depression. I suffer from depression real bad. Okay. Alright, well let's 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 start from the beginning. So where are you from? I'm from Atlanta. Hey man. Shout out ATL man. Shout it out man. What part of Atlanta? I'm from the west side of Atlanta. Man, shout out the west side, the best side man for sure. Alright, I'm definitely an east sider, but you know we all we love I the whole city. On the east side. Hey man, got love for the whole city for sure. Yes. All right, so growing up here in Atlanta, did you have both your mom and your dad in the household? No, sir, I didn't. I just had my mom, and she worked it all the time. Worked the two jobs all her life. Okay. Um, do you have any sisters and brothers? Uh, yes, I do. I got a little brother. He's seventeen. And he's okay. Kind of, he's currently in my mother's custody of care. Okay. And so it's just you guys? Yes. Okay. Um, and so same father or different same, dads? Same father. Okay. 
So they was in a relationship at some point, your mom and your dad. Yes, but they was in a relationship, but it's like, it was domestic. But I, I was a witness and I was a victim to, I was a witness and a victim to domestic. So your dad was doing that to your mom? Yes, and then it, it started from when I was a child. It started from when I was a very, very small child. I witnessed it. All I kept doing is crying to this day. I just grew up just without, just just without. I'm out here without, with nowhere to go, no nothing. I'm just here with nowhere to go, with no help. So let me ask, I mean, growing up, was your dad, was he active in your life? <coughs> no. Like he didn't like come around. He didn't like, like he didn't never did nothing for me. He was never there for me. And to this day I got a child that I'm trying to provide for. And it's hard when I'm trying to have get somewhere to stay, trying to take care of my baby, trying to do it all. I'm trying. Lord knows I'm trying. I don't have no help. I'm trying. I don't have no help. And it's like I'm out here just floating around. Okay. So Okay, so let's, you know, as far as your childhood goes, um, you know, growing up, would you say that you had like a fairly normal childhood? Uh, sort of, kind of. I, it did, but I didn't. In what ways would you say it wasn't? It wasn't fair because certain things that I see today, I didn't get back then. Like what? Like the love that I had, the love that I could, I, my dad give his, my brother, I couldn't get that. I couldn't get that love. And, it's like I was trying to get the love, but I, it just wasn't there. Like, Why do you think that is? I don't know. I don't know what's that connection about. I don't know. And you say you guys have the same dad, right? Yes, we do. But it's like a difference. Like you know how parents don't show the same love, show the show the same type of thing with yeah, both of the kids. It's like a difference. Okay. All right. All right. And so you. So I mean, did you go to high school? Yes, I graduated from graduated. high school. He was the main one that doubted me, saying that I wasn't going to be there. And I suffered from real bad depression. Okay. All right. So. So, so, okay. So you graduated. Did, did you go to college or anything like that? No, no. I just graduated from high school. Okay. What school? Cream. Hey, man. A Cream. Man, shout out Cream, man. Shout out to all my uh, Cream representatives, man. It's a lot of y'all in Atlanta. All right, man. And so, okay. Um, so you graduated from Cream. And I mean, so the father, where's the dad of, of the kids? He's nowhere around. He's incarcerated, nowhere around. And so you say that's the one that had the domestic situation going on? Yes. Okay. Um, and so, I mean, as far as the domestic violence, is that something that started like on day one and you just stayed in it? It's something that like I, tr I was trying to get away from. It's like I'm trying to get, I tried to get away from it. And now I'm like finally free from that. And now this is the situation that it led me in. And so when you left, I mean, did, did you have an opportunity to go to like your mom's house or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, I did. But you know, my of course, you know my dad. You know, if he has to say so to when it comes to me staying, so that didn't so work are they out. still together? No, they're not. So how did he has to say so in your mom's house? Yeah, he comes over there and he tells me he tells my mom that I don't need to be there because he don't trust me around my mom. I don't know why. Hold on, London. Well, I mean, if I asked your dad, why don't you trust your daughter around my mom? Her mo around yeah. her mom, what what would what do you think he would say? My dad is not. My dad is like. My dad is not a man, so he's not going to man up to nothing. He like nothing he say to tells me to other people. He's not going to man up about it. He's he's never been like. He's never so he been would deny it. Him. Yes, he will. Not yet. Hold on. So why do you think that he thinks that? Because that's kind of like a, it's kind of a weird thing. Like, you're saying that your biological me, dad would. Because my dad, he tells me that, you know, I'm I'm like a person that he never likes, and he tells me like he's. There's plenty of times he told me he hate me, 
he can't stand Does me. he not think that you're biologically his or something? I don't, I don't know. I don't, I really Do y'all look alike? Yes, we look just, I look just like my, none of stop it. I look just like my father. And so he'd rather, he'd rather that his biological daughter and granddaughter be out on the street. Like he, he'd rather us be out on the street because that's all versus, he kept saying. Versus staying with my mom. Yeah. So not even him. Where does he stay? He stay with his girlfriend. I can't stay with, I cannot stay with him. So why or, does he have so much control over your mom. mom's house? And why does know. your mom allow that? I don't know. I don't know. When you, like, so when, when like, you ask your mom, why does she allow him to have control over that decision? She tells me, and she tells me that he tries to come to run her house, but at the end of the day, he can't run her house. And my mom is on session A, so she only has a two bedroom. And it's just my brother and her. And you know, and she said she don't want to ever get in trouble about me being there if session A comes there and she gets in trouble. And that's why she was saying I have to listen to my dad because so is he threatening to like report her if if no he if, didn't no he didn't threat he never would threaten to report her she was she was just saying like it's only the I get for it H A A because you supposed you supposed to be on the least to stay there right 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 and that'll mess up her section eight yes does she at least let you stay there sometimes like just a night or two uh, I haven't even I haven't been there I just been here trying to. You haven't even been there? I, no, I haven't. I've have, I been so, there. So, I mean, does she know that you're homeless? Yes, yeah, she do. She does. But do I, she said she can help me out as much as she can, but I can't come there because she's scared. She's afraid of Session 8 and what they might do if they find out that I'm there. So, I, I talk to her every day. I talk to her every single day. I talk to her every day. She try to help me out the best way she can, but she said I just can't come and stay with her. She can't have nobody that's not on her lease come and stay with her. When y'all talk every day, what are what are those discussions like? What are um, they about? She was like she be asking how is how I'm doing, how's London, am I able to um have, have I found something yet? Have I found a place to stay? How am I doing with my health and stuff like that? Am I doing something to better myself and stuff? And what about your dad? When was the last time you talked to him? Um, I don't even talk to my dad. I, I don't even talk to him. When was the last time? I didn't talk to, I had, it's been like about three weeks. I haven't even talked to my dad. And ever, ever since I tried to call him and he's not picking up the phone for me at all. So, I mean, if, if you could give a message to your dad, right? He's not here. It's just mm -hmm. you. Yes. Look him dead in the camera. He may okay. stumble across this video on YouTube. Just tell him what's on your heart. Dad, I want to let you know that no matter what we go through, no matter what, what might happen in, in our past, at the end of the day, it don't to take our future. And I'm going to always be here. I'm going to always be your daughter. I love you. And I just say, I'm just giving you to the Lord and God forgive you. I forgive you for everything you have done because I'm still your daughter. Do you want to know why he is so opposed to you staying with the mom and everything else? You know, it, I do, but I, I don't. It don't even matter. I just want to be here. I'm just here trying to be supportive of my child. I'm just trying to be there because my children need me more than anything. And so, the father of the kids, you say he's locked up. Yes, he's incarcerated. What is he locked up for? Something that happened way before at me. Uh, his past that caught up with him. Okay. His past that you know how your past can catch up with you in the future. That's what it happened. Something that happened way before my kids or me. Okay. Now, some people are going to say, they're going to do the math and say, well, how many months pregnant are you? Mm -hmm. How I'm, many I'm, months? I'm, I'm actually um, five. I'm due December the 24th on Christmas Eve. Okay. Well, congratulations, by the way. And it's a boy. Okay. Congrats. Congrats. Okay. Thank um, you. On your pregnancy. But some people are going to look at the math and they're going to say, well, you say you've been pregnant for a year, but you're only, you know, five months pregnant. So, I mean, why did you decide to kind of be having sex and having a kid? while you was in this position of homelessness? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And that was with, the, that was with the baby daddy? Yes, I'm not. I'm not I wasn't like, I wasn't thinking. Like, I'm just like, it just happened as a mistake. It didn't happen as it I supposed to be. It just happened as a mistake. Okay. You know what I mean? At least you can own up to the fact that it was a mistake. You it know, some people try to... You know, um, I, didn't, I didn't do it on purpose just to say, oh, this is my cause or to 
when I'm gonna get assistance. No, I'm, I didn't mean it did not happen as it. It was like a one night stand thing. And when it's supposed to be a one night stand, it's supposed to be like, it's just me and my baby now. When you so, say one night stand, is, like, it, is this in, a different guy? No, it's the same guy, but what I'm saying is like, it was a mistake for me with my kids because I was on birth control. Okay. Yes. Were y'all together at the time or? Uh, we was just friends. So you just kind of was... He was somebody who I went to high school with. We're still talking about the father of your kids, right? Yes. All right. Well, at that point, though, he was already the father of your kid. Yeah. Okay. So that's yeah. why I'm asking, were y'all together in a relationship or... We we was getting to that point, but we never we never actually made it. It, it was just like, oh, we went to the hotel and it happened type of thing. We was never together. We, but just, did that happen with both kids or was that just... Just like, this child. Okay, so what happened with the first one? With the first child, it was like, with the first child, it was it was like we was never we never would have been in a relationship with another neither one of my babies. We was never in a relationship with. We was like friends, the real tight best friends, and he liked me, but I never seen myself dating him. Why not? I just then, cause I was trying to focus on my getting myself together. I'm fo I was focused on trying to get me together, but it happened when we just had laid down and had him. It wasn't, it, it wasn't like I was trying to. It was just a mistake that happened. Everyone was following me like, you know, I financially stable and stuff like that, have no kids. But, you know, it was a mistake. Everything happened. You know, some things happen as a mistake. It's not meant to be on purpose. It happened as a mistake. And a lot now that I know I got them, it's just going to be them and that's it. I can't, I can't, I just got to focus on them now. I got to be for them and not for no one else, for them. So they need me more than anything. I agree 100%. Um, so, I mean, what are we doing at this point to try to get ourselves out of this position of homelessness? Um, right now, what I'm doing, to, I'm, um, I'm starting, I'm transitioning to going to work, going through a work program. And I'm actually, today, I'm at Gateway, feeling ready to go to catch this van so I can go to Nicholas' house and go ahead and get into a shelter to get back on my feet and go into a new journey of my, me and my kids' life. Okay. I mean, so what have you been doing up to this point as far as it goes? Um, what I've been doing, you know, everything I've been trying to call places, doing everything. And today I made my decision that I, because every time I call, they say they only got first come, first serve. I stand at the door, there's enough tickets only for 10. So now today, at Monday morning at 5 o'clock, I came down here, I stand in the line, I got what I deserve, I got what I wanted. And it's like the God has answered my prayers, and I'm now finna go ahead and go to Nicholas' house today and start my journey now, and go ahead and transition it into a new life. Well, congratulations on that for sure, for sure. Congratulations. Um, where have you been sleeping up to this point? Um, I've been like outside, like I just been here and there, like not like in like, not around here, but you know, ev you know, everywhere. Okay. And that's with the baby as well? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, if anybody wanted to reach out, help, or donate, do you have a way they could do that? Do you have social media, cash app, anything like that? Yes, I've got cash app. What's your, what, what's your cash app? Dollar sign Kia, K-I-A, K-I-A, zero two, two, two. Okay, so, so Kia, it's Kia. Kia. It's Kia, Kia, zero two, twenty two. All right. All right. Well, listen, miss, we... Really appreciate you taking the time, answering all of our questions. Okay. I mean, we definitely wish you nothing but the best out here, all right? Okay, thank you. No doubt. Make sure you have a good one, sweetie. All right. All right.